Hi everybody, it's Sunday and that means it's time for the makeup basket debrief and the new makeup basket for the week. Uh, first of all, I wanted to say this past week again has just been crazy. We'll say that. And uh, I'll talk about that more later. I feel like every week I always have this like amazing or weird life-changing event that <laughs> occurs and I don't know if that's in the plans or if that's just how it's going but I'm going to embrace these changes because I've already decided that 2013 seems like it's going to be my year as cliche as that sounds. So I'll get to the makeup uh, basket of the week, the debrief first, then the new basket and then I'll give my little PSA uh, at the end. So this week, first of all, I must say too, it was a very successful week for me with this makeup basket. I absolutely loved it. And it probably is because that the majority of the products that I used were from Dior. And I just love Christian Dior Beauty. It's one of my favorites. And yes. So first things first, we'll talk about the Capture Total uh, Multi-Perfection Makeup Base with the uh, SPF 25. This is fantastic. I love this. It feels so good on the skin. It really gives a nice, it has a wonderful finish, um, especially for my skin, which tends to be on the dry side. I really enjoy it. There is another version of this, and I know Deanna from Deanna's Makeup World had asked me about it. It's in my new makeup basket, so I will um, hold it up for, to the camera for a while. I'm so sorry I didn't get back to you. I'm just returning my comments now. Okay, so anyway, really like this. Uh, then I use the Capture Total Foundation, which is probably just my absolute favorite. I just love this foundation. I love that you can um, put it on, and you can either... Apply it with your fingers. I apply it with a, a brush, either my Good Karma Optical Blurring Brush or now uh, my Christian Dior Foundation Brush. And I stipple it on for, especially in areas where I need extra coverage, which would be right here. Um, and it just, it's fantastic. It just feels wonderful on. I use the Dior Nude, Dior Skin Nude Concealer. No complaints about this. Um, I really need some help on technique for concealing my under eye. Um, doesn't seem to work, and I think it's just operator error. So <laughs> I'm not going to go too into it. The Dior uh, Dior Show Brow Styler, perfection. In fact, this is going to go in my next uh, week's basket. So I'll just plop it right over there. Um, the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden. I switched over to this. After trying to get through the Too Faced Shadow Insurance, I don't like the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I like Urban Decay Primer Potion. Completely works for me, so I'm going to stick with it. Next week's basket. Then I used a Dior Liquid Liner. After I got this to work, um, again, operator error, it, it's okay. It, again, I think for me it's a technique thing, and I really need to practice. So if anyone has any tips, Besides just going over and practicing, 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 I'd really appreciate it because I am having epic fails with liquid liner lately, and I don't know why. Hmm. Then, of course, I believe I have this. If I didn't have this, I did use this this week. This is Chanel, the barrel liner. If you have an opportunity to pick this up, I highly, highly, highly recommend this. And I recommend it for inner eye and the... Um, waterline here. What a great brightener. It is perfection. Chanel really hit the nail on the head with this. If you can still get it, please go get it. If you can't get it, then my alternate, um, but definitely a step down, would be the Tarte, I think it's called Inner Eyes, and that's more of a peachy toned, um, peachy toned kind of pencil. It's nice. It's not as nice as this. No way. Next week's basket. <laughs> All right, then, and that's my dog, Lola, stop it. The eyeshadow I used for the week was the Dior 5 Color from the Sherry Bow. I really got a lot of use out of this. There's powder all over it. Um, this is just absolutely fantastic. I'm going to use this again and again and again. This is the perfect set of spring neutrals, especially if you don't like the BAM kind of color. They have a version of this that's a lot more, I call it intense, but this is absolute perfection for spring um, neutrals for your work environment. It's wonderful. So, then we've got the 
my favorite, one of my favorite blushes ever, the Strawberry Sorbet, also by Dior. I love this. I actually uh, spent most of the week combining these two colors. And the reason I do that is because this color here has the shimmer in it. So I use that as kind of my highlight. Beautiful. Again, no complaints. I always use my Dior Show Maximizer Lash Plumping Serum. I don't know if I actually show this every time. I do use this prior to every mascara um, application. This works for me, and I'll probably never quit this. I hope they never stop making this. It is perfection. Then I use the Dior Show Iconic Overcurl Mascara. Apparently, this is the mascara that's supposed to be coming out in the summer. And Sephora was handing out samples, and it was funny because when I went and got the samples, uh, the sample of this, it was a hundred point. They weren't. It wasn't really a sample. It was a hundred point perk. Um, I had gone back like the next day or two days later. And um, they had said, well, you know, you still have this many points. So I was hoping to get another one, and they didn't have it. So I don't even know if they were supposed to be giving this out as the 100-point perk. This mascara was okay. Um, I like the curved brush, and it's just a really big brush. The problem I had with this is that it's too short. Like, I'd like to try this in full size because I feel like I'd have better control. I got a lot of transfer um, because of the, the brush is just huge, and you're trying to hold on to this little... Um, handle here this little top part of the mascara and I ended up getting it all over which isn't a huge problem it's just I'd rather that not happen so I don't have to wipe wipe off everything after it dries and blah 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 so then I used as a highlight Dior Skin uh, Shimmer Powder in number two Amber Diamond which is a, a favorite here on YouTube it's a favorite of mine um, I absolutely love this again this is something I'll always use. I'll use it in the winter, I'll use it in the spring, I'll use it in the summer, I'll use it in the fall. It's perfect. So then, one of the things, oh yeah, my bronzer, ha <laughs> ha, nude bronzer. This is a nude, I wanna say it's like number two or something. I actually prefer this over the matte version. I love things with shimmer in them. And this just has a teensy bit of shimmer, but I also like the light and the dark, um, because then literally I can swirl and if I'm feeling really, really, like I don't want to have as much bronze, I use the light. And if I want more, I use the light and the dark. And it just works for my skin tone. Again, something I'll always, 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 always use. Then, to set, I think this is the only, one of the few things that wasn't Dior. I used the NARS um, Translucent Crystal Light Reflecting Setting Power Pressed. Powder? <laughs> pressed. This is that new white powder that people are talking about. I like this. I am probably going to pick up the uh, loose powder. It does really help, um, especially if you're getting photos taken. Yes, 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 yes. Um, for me here, it, it's it's just perfect. I find that it just does amazing things for my complexion, especially in photos. Not that I'm standing in front of flashing camera bulbs or on a red carpet, but it helps. If you know you're getting a picture taken, bring this with you and touch up. It does help. Then the two uh, lipsticks. I spent a lot of the week wearing number 687, the Addict lipstick, in that word I can't pronounce, which is E-S-P-I-E-G-L-E. I love this lipstick. It's beautiful. It looks gorgeous on. You can either apply it once for a sheer color, or you can just keep going over and over and get a darker color. Beautiful. And then the other days when I wasn't wearing that, I was wearing Rouge Dior 976 in Daisy Plum. Again, beautiful, beautiful color. And this lasts. It just stays on. It's it's awesome. All right, that was it. So now the new makeup basket. It's another uh, mostly high-end uh, brand kind of week for me. Um, so let's, let's get started because I'm already at nine minutes. Uh, so here's the thing Deanna wants to know about. The multi-perfection UV based sunscreen with SPF 50. This is the Capture Total from Dior. So here you are, Deanna. Multi-perfection UV, okay. Then for foundation, I'm just trying to use this up. The Perfection Lumiere Longwear Fluis Flawless Fluid Makeup from Chanel. As far as concealer, I'm using my Cover FX, which I really do like, the Camouflage Concealer in Light Medium. Again, I need help with, with uh, concealer techniques, so anybody that wants to help me, please send a message. I'm happy to learn. UDPP in Eden. Barrel. Brow Styler. 
What else are we doing here? Uh, for liner this week, I'm using a pencil. This is a Canadian brand, the Santi Kajal Extreme or Kajal, whoever you say it. This is great because it has the smudger on this end. It also has a pencil sharpener built in and it's a really soft pencil. So if anyone's interested in, in uh, getting this, let's uh, talk because I think you will really, really enjoy this. Visanti is an excellent brand. Um, pretty, pretty good quality items. They have a pretty wide range now. Um, impressive. For eyes, I'm going to start with <gasps> MAC, uh, a paint pot, the new Pro Longwear paint pot, chilled on ice. I really don't use the paint pots, so this was like a big thing for me. Then for eyes, I don't know, where's the eyes? Where's the eyes? I think this is the eyes. I'm going to use the Chanel number 39 refinement. Everybody's talking about it. So I went and got it, still in the package. Starting to lean towards neutrals. Kind of scary. All right, then for blush, I'm using Chanel. 68 Rose E-C-R-I-N. Can't say it. Can't say French words. There it is. I love Chanel blushes. They're fantastic. The baked blushes are just beautiful. Dior Show Maximizer. Lash Maximizer. You know I'm going to use that every time. Big Fatty Mascara from Urban Decay. I'm just trying to use this up because um, March is unofficially, officially mascara month for me. So I'll be trying out tons of mascaras then. For bronzer, going back to something, um, revisiting something that I love that I haven't used in a while, the Annabelle Biggie Bronzer and Caribbean Sun. I tend to stay up in the lighter shades here, but this is a great bronzer. And again, Canadian company. So if you're interested in this big bronzer, let me know because they've got some new ones out. I think one's called Zebra this time. Probably the prettiest thing I don't want to use that uh, Michelle from Makeup MLC, I was watching her video, saw it, ran out to get it, got one of the last ones. It's the Chanel Illuminating Powder. I can't even say it. I don't, I don't know what it is, but look at it. Oh, yes. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's mine. It's mine. I want to be so careful with this. Scared to even use it. Okay. Setting powder. I'm using my translucent setting powder from Cover FX. Had a lot of luck with this. Wish it wasn't so large because it's the kind of thing I'd like to take with me. Um, and I won't put something this large in a purse. I don't normally put loose things in my purse either. A loose powder, even in a makeup bag. This just spells disaster for me. For lips, Rouge Dior 683 in Esquisse. Esquisse. One of my favorites. I love Rouge Dior. I love Dior Addict lipsticks, but I love Rouge Dior mainly for uh, staying powder. Staying power. Staying power. Okay, and finally, the Rose Exclusive. Uh, I can't even say this. It's the it's the it's from Bourjois, and it's the lip gloss that transforms into your perfect shade of pink. So really looking forward to that. Um, and that's it for the basket. Now, um, I don't normally like to go into these long diatribes, but this is a rather long video. I'm hoping um, to keep it under 15. So I just want to mention that uh, I've had a lot going on in my life, like big changes. I've just kind of been up and down, up and down. <clears throat> and I've had a couple of people, you know, say, uh, you know, how do you stay so positive and things like that. You know, there's a lot of answers to that. Um, I just, I do it by you know, having a good support system in place by getting in touch with my spiritual side. For me, that's going to church and doing, you know, some church related items that do help me grow. Um, I don't know if that's what's going to work for you, but I, I just want you to remember that you're never given anything that you can't handle in life. And it is so important to take Everything that happens, whether it be an opportunity or a challenge, and really embrace it and learn from it uh, because it's only going to enrich you and make you a better person. And you can't focus and stay in those negative areas. You have to stay positive. So thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll do the same. There goes a feather from my coat. And have a great Sunday. Bye.